TTL computer. I just got things working after about two or three days of debugging problems and major issues had uh, had to rewrite the ALU code and um, it's given me the ability to have do four operations now. I finally got things all working again. Just had a bunch of problems with the had problems with the code and uh, a lot of stupid little issues that were going on. I had uh, also issues with some of the um, assembler code in the microcontroller that implements the ALU subtleties in some of the instructions that uh, weren't completely uh, clear, paramount in my mind, unless you use the assembler all the time, subtleties. And uh, anyway, I worked through so many issues, I can't even remember what they all were now, but uh, had to break out the oscilloscope a few times to check out all the signals to help determine what was going on step-by-step step through code, checking every control single signal for each tick of the instructions. Notice that the uh, the data bus indicator lights went dim when it was doing the um, math operation. The ALU led me to seeing that uh, signals were not right and uh, the uh, data bus was going up and down very pulling out my hair. But anyway, worked through all that and uh, I think I'm in pretty good shape right now. We see that the uh, code's running through a loop, decrementing and then resetting to resetting. So had all issues with the, uh, the ALU also, besides doing the math, doing the uh, conditional jumps. A lot of headaches, a lot of headaches. All straightened out now, I think. A lot of subtleties resolved. Code done, I think, is much better in the ALU. Should be much more stable now. Should be able to do the rest of those math operations uh, pretty easily. <coughs> and uh, they'll be needed to be able to do some small little games and things like that. So now we have uh, can get input programmatically from the switches and uh, got those extra operators. So should be good. Next thing I'll try is... Uh, Start to try uh, do those last those last couple of math operations and then a simple uh, maybe a high low game something like that. Anyway, thanks for watching.